Now you're going to have to get turnovers. You do not have enough time to allow them to run the clock down and shoot at the end of the shot clock. You've got to force a turnover. And inside, Cray throws it away, and Slaughter comes up with the steal. And the drive, the Evans screen into Cray. Slaughter, no place to go. Mendez, Valdez has just knocked out his seventh <laughs> three-point shot. He's got 27 points. They get 25 points. It's a four-point game with 120 to play as Orlando Mendez Valdez has been a flamethrower. Let's go to Craig Gumbel in New York. They try to go inside to Pargo. They had good success with that in early in the second half. Bolden, defensive switch. And this down is diving for the ball, and he's got it. Here comes Pettigrew. It's a two-point game with 57 seconds to play. A 7-0 run by Western Kentucky. Now you have time, and Slaughter just turned around and told his teammates, one stop. You don't have to foul, you do have to get a stop. Wow, Slaughter is on Pardo. Hold it. Mendez Valdez defended. It's picked up on the play by Jeremy Evans. A timeout for Western Kentucky. 24.8 to play. Western Kentucky will have it. And watch Orlando Mendez Valdez block Bolden. He hits Bolden first, knocks the ball loose. Pettigrew gets it. What a smart play by Mendez Valdez, and he got away with it. This is some player. As you can see, our time there is 24 seconds on the nose, but in the arena here, it's 24.8, so we'll try to find out which is correct. Guessing the 24.8. Kevin, the interesting thing about this is if you're Gonzaga, you come out and you pressure. And so against a team that's pressuring, it's going to be very hard to hold the ball for 20, 24.8 seconds, but that's not what you're trying to do if you're Western Kentucky. You actually have to get a shot as early as you can. So the, they set up a play, you take the first good shot you can get, because if you miss, you need time to foul and extend the game. Well, with two minutes to go, Gonzaga was on top, 81-72. And the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky have made their last four shots. They have forced turnovers. They didn't have enough time to just play defense, but they forced turnovers. A couple of difficult passes by Gonzaga. Western Kentucky comes up with it. Then the important thing, they go down and they convert on the other end. We like it down. Pargo, Bolden, Dimitri Goodson, and Austin Day on the floor for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. And out there for Western Kentucky will be Karush, Mendez Valdez, A.J. Slaughter, and both Stefan Pettigrew and Jeremy Evans. 
probably the quickest lineup that Gonzaga can put out there. This is the defensive lineup. Western Kentucky has one timeout. Gonzaga has two. And if you're Gonzaga, I'll tell you what, your philosophy has to be make somebody besides Slaughter or Mendez Valdez beat you. Here we go. Slaughter is picked up by Goodson. Mendez Valdez. It's Slaughter for three in the lead. Rebound by Pettigrew and he puts it in with seven seconds left. We're tied. It's Goodson by Mendez Valdez for the lead. Oh! Dimitri Goodson! That's it! Gonzaga is going in a sweet 16! Goodson, a freshman from Spring, Texas, has just hit the game-winning shot for Gonzaga. And the Bulldogs are going to the Sweet 16 for the first time in three years. Oh, what a finish. Western Kentucky gets a shot. Pettigrew comes flying in and tips the ball in the basket. Western Kentucky is trying to get a timeout. They can't do it. Gonzaga takes the ball down the court, and Goodson, who's been so good defensively, knocks down the game winner. Goodson just drives the ball to the basket. This isn't the guy you expect to take the last shot. Wow. For Goodson, only his second shot of the game. And on the other side, Has one timeout, Gonzaga has two. And if you're Gonzaga, I'll tell you what, your philosophy has to be make somebody besides Slaughter or Mendez Valdez beat you. Here we go. Slaughter is picked up by Goodson. Mendez Valdez. It's Slaughter for three in the lead. Rebound by Pettigrew and he puts it in with seven seconds left. We're tied. It's Goodson by Mendez Valdez for the lead. Dimitri Goodson! That's it! Gonzaga is going in a sweet 16! Welcome back, everyone. That's how Kevin Harlan called the final seconds of Gonzaga's 83-81 win over Western Kentucky. Now, a little bit of a controversy here because in the replays, you will see Western Kentucky head coach Ken McDonald trying to call for a timeout. He didn't get it. Absolutely. The officials missed it on this occasion. There's no doubt about it. you got to have some assumption there as an official. And still, even if that play continues, that you got to at least give them the benefit. Yeah, Greg, I'm sorry, I disagree. You only had one player for Western Kentucky, A.J. Slaughter, and he didn't really emphatically call a timeout. They inbounded the ball no. right away. The refs are running they, down the court. They don't All five timeout. players got to call timeout. You don't, you don't take, it's not about calling an, an emphatic timeout. If you call a timeout, Seth, that's timeout. Well, you know, they, you don't have to be as demonstrative or jumping up and down. If you call timeout, your coach called timeout, you should be given or, or awarded that timeout. It will be much discussed tomorrow. Chevy.